All right, guys, something pretty special for you today. We're going to make some wadi pokey. Something I've been jonesing for, I've had a craving for for years, and I finally sourced it. It's like the root of it is a, a, a plant that you really don't get too much here on the mainland. Um, but I sourced it. I found a market that sells it. Not super fresh, but hopefully fresh enough. And we're going to make it. We're going we're gonna to do our best. I promise you this is my first time. So be gentle, be kind. Don't laugh at me too hard because <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, this is going to be pretty rough. But let's give it a go. So this isn't the Roro per se. This is the tavioca. This is a side dish. Uh, whenever you make Roro, you kind of have to have a side dish. These leaves here, that's the taro. That's the main course. One thing I really like about it, about tavioca, is if you see this here, when you get the, the, the skin, if you get it right, you don't even need a knife to peel it. You can just pull it right off, super easy. Like I said, I don't know if that's bad. I don't know if it's good, but whatever. We'll make it work. Okay, so after we chopped, peeled, diced up all of our tavioca, it looks like this. It's obviously not the freshest. Some of these pieces are bad. I can't really tell how you know if it's bad or not, but you just look at it. It doesn't look great. So we're gonna throw those out soak it overnight with salt and do most of the prep tomorrow okay boy look at here i i know you're gonna roast me you're gonna flame me for using a serrated edge steak looking knife on some taro leaves and you're right the knife that i should have been using was in the sink it was dirty didn't feel like cleaning it so I, instead i opted to look like freddy cougar chopping up one of his victims except instead of the real Freddy Cougar, I am the vegan Freddy Cougar. So it doesn't look good, but I promise you, I got the job done. No tarot leaves were harmed in the you know production of this Wadi Pokey. Following all this slicing and dicing, we're gonna throw this bad boy in the refrigerator, soak overnight. This is the finished product. This is after a whole night of soaking. Boy, stop. Looky here, boy. The first thing I thought when I whipped out this colander was I felt like Uncle Raja. Uncle Raja, how you gonna rinse your taro leaves with a colander? With a colander. Yeah, it's uh, really the only thing I could think of at the moment was a colander, so. so we're just gonna... Okay, so the dish I'm trying to make, the taro leaves have to be fried. And in order to do that, you have to kind of get an agent to help them stick together. So it's crucial that I get this flour ratio right. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not the best with measuring cups. I don't know any Fijians who make this, who, who use measuring cups. I just eyeballed it and hoped that it would work out. As you can tell, it's always watery. Uh, and, you know, the only way to make it not watery is add more flour but then you add more flour and then it's too chunky so this was really you know makes me look like a real amateur but shit i did my best come on all right the consistency is a little bit milky still but i'm gonna add in the row roll and i'm gonna add in the onions and hopefully that's gonna help this consistency just a little bit I wanted to be known that the instructions that I was given, I've never made this before, but shout out to Luata. She told me you mix it up like it's pancakes, uh, more row row than pancakes, dump it in the fryer, uh, just like you would a pancake. So that's, that's why we got what we're looking at. All right. So the purpose of this Wadi Pokey is to make sure that the Roro after it's fried, you're cooking in coconut milk. So that's what I've done here, is I've dumped this whole can of coconut milk in here. And I don't know exactly how long it's supposed to be cooking, but I put it in for as long as I could. We're checking here, it, all the coconut milk hasn't like uh, dried out. So it's not done yet, but right now it's not looking so good. That's not how I remember it looking. Um, 
we'll go over here. I prepared some vegetables to throw into what's called a michi. I'll have that with the fish. Pretty hard to mess up. Should go okay. And boom, here's the finished product. The wavy pokey turned out okay. That's the row row with onions. I threw some flour in the mix, turned it into like a little penny cakey and uh, fried it up then threw some coconut milk on it. Not the most sexy looking, but it, it'll do. The cassava fries, fried them in the air fryer though to like, help out with the oil. Um, I got here the fish, got a little sal salmon. I don't know how it's gonna be with this michi. The michi, you already know I got the onions in it. I don't know what's going on with this cream. It's like the cream and the water separated. It's like hella thick. Ah, I might've taken an L on this one. And over here, you might not be able to tell, but this is Lolo buns. I just whipped up a little quick, quick little uh, bunny popo. Once again, it looks like mush, but hopefully it tastes all right. That's it. All right. So first, we're gonna sample the, the fish and the michi. Hmm. So the fish itself is really good. It's grilled salmon, delicious. The michi, uh, not so, not so much. It's like a full rich cream. You can't really taste the flavor of the cucumber, the tomato, or the onion. The Roro. Mm, it's not bad, but it's nowhere near as good as what I used to get back in the village. Holy cow. Now this bad boy, this little uh, cassava fry, I can already see. Ooh. <clears throat> mm, that tastes really good. I love it when it's crispy. A little sample is a little bun, bunny popo. It looks like crap, but in my defense, it's not how it looks. It's always about how it tastes. Ooh! Mm. That's damn good. You really can't mess it up. Here's a bread, mega bun, coconut flakes, coconut milk, some sugar. Ooh. That is really good. Well, I'll say this. It turned out way better than I thought it would. The one problem was probably with the michi. I thought that would be the easiest thing. I thought there was no way to mess that up, but I did. So anyways, that was the first time. I'm gonna keep practicing. and hopefully I get it better the next time. If any of you have any tips or any recipes or wanna put it in the comments how to make it, like some instructions, let me know. Cause next time I wanna do it better than this. This is kind of a waste of a whole can of coconut milk. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care.